Hello everyone, this is Paper Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, well, I am so excited that you've come and visited me and I hope that you will have a fun, loving time here with me today. That you will feel better after you see this video than when you began and that you will be inspired um, to glue some stuff. So. Uh, this is actually my first glue book um, and it's just like a it's like a planner a business planner and I just don't really use it that much as that because I put everything on my phone you know to schedule and um, so I kind of got out of the practice of using these, but I, I use these so much, you know, before I start going, started going electronic. So um, that's why I ended up having these. And um, but anyway, so I wanted to show you this one because I think it's really pretty too and really fun. I love how this first page came out. And so it's been almost a year since I did this one and I, I never did do a video on it um, because I don't know why I just didn't but um, yeah I want to share it with you because I think it would be fun so then here's another spread I think is kind of cool kind of cool it says play the playground appropriate and then the next page is uh, I don't know it's kind of like a manly kind of spread it's not complete I still have some white space that I feel like I need to fill up but for right now uh, I like it I like, I like the way it looks it's a little different so uh, then this is uh, says good thoughts um, let us love winter for it is the spring of genius Pietro Aretino and um, so yeah there's some really beautiful I like that blue and kind of periwinkle combination you know that violet you know even though I don't love purple right now I still like violet because it's blue enough and I'm totally digging blue right now so and I've been for a while so anyway there's that um, this is very incomplete but I like it because it's got all this like gold and royal kind of stuff that is interesting to me um, and then this is just some pretty flowers and things spring kind of lurking in the back of my mind uh, and then this is like a strand of hair and so when I found this word I thought well that's appropriate um, I don't know what to put here though I feel like and I, I had a I think I had a face on here at one point but I was like no I want something else so yeah then this spread here um, has a lot of those pretty colors those blues cuz you know I'm loving blues and turquoise colors right now I've been loving them I've loved them a lot a lot before for a long time before but I don't know just right now they're popping out a lot so yeah this is kind of a fun little article here and um, I thought it was kind of cute and then this um, spread is uh, very interesting I I think she might be an actress but I'm not sure what her name is but I just love her style and I love this like mon monochrome uh, or monochromatic kind of feel and then I just you know they're just like all this stuff here I don't know if you can if it's gonna show really well in the video but it's kind of like a shabby chic kind of you know but it's black and white and it's just all these different black and white tones you know and I just I really like this page I mean it's just really cool I like the way it feels 
Um, and then this spread is really neat because it's very antique-y and it's really some old images and they're actually um, they're not the original images they are uh, magazine cutouts so they're um, they are original I didn't take copies or anything but um, they are um, what do you call that you know they're they're not actually like the actual pictures they're they're magazine images that I cut from magazines so but yeah I like this clock here I like this really old um, airplane this like pretty piece of jewelry that looks very very antique and antique chair this is hand-picked European antique um, this like doily thing here and this is a little girl having her first communion um, with this beautiful outfit that makes her look like a little bride even though that's a little creepy for a bride to be so young but it's, it does say first communion so that's what that is from um, 1904 so and then these are really cool so and then this this um, print on this dress is really pretty I like it a lot so there's that um, and then I like this spread um, this is all about spa and bubble bath and love that so I put some like bubbles but I, I feel like I'm gonna probably do some more bubbles so yeah definitely still a work in progress um, these colors again with the red and the turquoise and then thrown in a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow and a little bit of sky blue um, I just think that looks really pretty so there's that um, yeah just a lot more uh, just a very colorful I really like that a lot of like glitzy glamoury kind of you know bright shiny very heavy patterned like this spread too because again it's got that those really bright colors this is a little negative of, of a heart shape that I cut with a die cut that I just bought and so I felt like I wanted to put that here uh, which it was the same image as this because it's like a an earring sorry about that I had to sneeze so I have to stop the video but um, anyway, I super love it, and uh, they both have red hats, so <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's why they're together. Again, some of the stuff, I don't really know why I put things together. Uh, usually, like I said, it has to do mostly with the color, but it, it can sometimes be a motif, but sometimes the motif has nothing to do with the color, and sometimes the color has nothing to do with the motif, and then sometimes it's just craziness all over the place so there's no telling why I did what I did but I think on this one I love the green you know that green is just like boom beautiful so uh, this this one here is like I'm having a green and yellow thing going on so um so this is a uh, really cute it says Mike's old-fashioned soda fountain and then there's like this old Janis Joplin um, Porsche that's in the Museum of the Gulf Coast. Um, and then this is a gentleman from the Naval Academy. And so he's super cool. Love that. And then this is a pageant. The third pageant for in Galveston in 1928. So that, that is also from a magazine. And... So that's kind of continued here and here. And then this is a, an artist, um, Derek Anderson is his name. And he actually paints on radiators, you know, vehicle radiators. I thought that was pretty unique and interesting. So I put that there. And then this spread um, is really busy. So... I don't know probably has a lot of no-nos just because you know but then again this was the first one I had which I actually I think it came out pretty decent 
because I didn't learn a lot of things until after. So, um, but yeah, I still like it. Um, and then, yeah, the love. Anytime there's like circles, polka dots, black and white, any print, I love that a lot. So, I always think that it's so pretty on a page. Um, and then this, I've... I've used these balloons before because I've I had a bag a gift bag and so the, this was some of those balloons I actually made a really cool collage and this is kind of turning out kind of interesting I think and these are little um, I want to say candy cane that's not a candy cane it's a lollipop okay so this is ancient wisdom and you know so you got some Again, stuff that is kind of like old and antique and uh, classic kind of thing. Um, and then this just says comfort, style, and grace. And then here says elegance. And I like the brown with the that teal combination. And then it's a little bit of that. There's like a little bit of olive green mixed into that a little bit so and then it says sleep right here and I love that bed it's a pretty bed and then this girl that's like closed has her eyes closed looks really cool there so um yep a lot of little things this this spread I really like I think it's pretty interesting it's um it's very royal and somewhat rustic, I don't know, or gothic. I'm not sure what the right word is, but um, not really very gothic. I think maybe this crown is kind of gothic. Um, but anyway, it just has like a very royal feel. And uh, this is a ballerina. And um, just love her. I gotta put some more glue on here, because yeah. This is why I'm going back. This is why I'm buying the extreme glue because apparently, after about a year, it you know, other glues are not gonna stand the test of time, apparently. So, yeah, there's that. Um, so, yep, stuff I'm working on, stuff I glue on that I like for one reason or another. So, I'm going to go through this a little quicker, unless there's something I need to point out. Audrey Hepburn, there. I got both the Hepburns. I got Kathy Hepburn on that one and Audrey on here. This is cute. I like this. This is super cute. Thriving, it says. And this says, I love you. And these little children are, uh, I think that the artist might be called Calais. And I think he's from New Orleans because I got that postcard in New Orleans. And then again with the royal theme, um, just these different gold colors are just fabulous, you know, just so pretty. And then this girl has like this peacock tail and I think that's just super cool. So. Um, and then this one, I just, I actually started working on this, um, yesterday. And there's a little girl, there's a young woman in my church who is, um, recently married and she's, um, pregnant and she's going to have a baby and I'm going to help with, um, decorating the baby shower. So, and I just, she's very dear to my heart. And so I think that's where this is coming from. Um, because when I saw this little sweet pregnant girl, I thought about her and then, you know, I wanted to combine the colors. Um, but in reality, like with her baby shower, it's a girl and she wants pink and gold. And so we're going to do pink and gold. And I have no problem with that because, you know, I could, I could pretty much get in the mood um, with the different colors, so I think this is pretty. And that's it for this one. Um, 
So anyway, guys, thank you for uh, taking the time to uh, look at this glue book with me. And um, thank you for subscribing. Those who are subscribers, if you have not subscribed, consider subscribing now so that you can see future videos. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And thank you again. Love you so much. Love you so much. See you in.